Hello everyone welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to make a motion graphics product promo video for the brand sprite. So my main focus will be to make this promo amazing without using any complicated things. I'll be sharing some easy steps so that everybody can follow along with me and make such videos for their clients. So with that said now let's begin. Alright so I'll start the process by creating a background so I'll press ctrl y to create that background and after that I'll add an effect that is fill so select the color this green color and after that I'll generate a keyframe over here I'll go to 10 frames and I'll change the color to something yellow so the color will change like this here you can see the color is changing Alright, so after that I'll drag the sprite bottle image. Okay, and after that I'll add fill effect and change this color to this one. Okay. So it'll look like this. After that I'll drag this one more time and I'll scale it down just like this. Okay, looks good. And after that what I'll do, I'll create a new null object. Let's name this as control. Uh, parent this both layer to the control layer after that press alt shift and s to create a keyframe on the scale property go to one second and drag it like this way okay looks good and after that what i'll do i'll just duplicate these two layers by pressing ctrl d again and i'll press ctrl and right square bracket to bring them up left square bracket to set them over here and after that I'll press S to scale it down and this one as well so I'll do it like this okay and this one like this okay looks good and I'll go to two seconds and this time I'm going to drag this like this way so here you can notice that we are controlling all of the layers using our main control layer that we created before using null object right so while uh, we are here around two seconds let me close the opacity of this layer okay so what I'll do I'll just set a keyframe over here and I'll press Alt, Shift and T to create a keyframe on the opacity and around 2 seconds I'll make it 0. Okay, so it will look like this. Here you can see. It's kind of looping, right? And after that what I'll do, I'll create a new composition by pressing Ctrl N and name it as Design 1. Hit OK. And after that I'll select the pen tool, I'll drag it like this way and another one from here, I'll drag it like this, okay, okay looks good. After that I'll change the color to our main green color, alright and then i'm going to select this option that is region of interest and i'll drag it just like this and after that i'll go to composition and here you can see that there is option named as crop comp to region of interest and click over there okay so what it does basically it creates a composition based on the size uh, we selected right and after that what i'll do I'll create another composition main name it as main design and there I'll bring the design O1 composition I'll scale it down a little bit after that I'll add a effect that is motion tile and select the output width like this and output height like this okay and after that we can animate it just like this way okay looks good so what i'll do i'll select a keyframe over let me just bring it like this way so what i'll do i'll place a keyframe over there and around two seconds or three seconds 
I'll drag it like this. Now ramp preview it and let's see. Here you can see this is also looping right. So while you are making it please make sure that uh, your spacing is right. So in the starting keyframe we left this much space here and at the end we have tried to maintain the spacing over here as well so that it uh, looks like a looping element. Okay so here you can see it is looping all right. Now after that what I'll do I'll go to our main composition and then I'll bring the main design comp over the solid layer okay let's name it as bg it's our bg layer and after that what i'll do here you can see it is looking like this but what i'll do i'll add an effect and that is mirror i'll change the reflection angle to minus 90 degree okay and after that i'll duplicate it by pressing ctrl d i'll make it zero and reflection center i'll change the x to divide by 2 okay so now ramp preview it and let's see how it is looking so here you can see it is looking like this and what i'll do after that i'll just duplicate this main design layer by pressing ctrl d and uh, i'll just drag it over here and i'll set the in point to around one second so let's see it is looking like this okay okay and after that what i'll do i'll make a new composition and name it as final comp okay and after that drag that main composition into your final composition so around uh, two seconds it stops right over here i'll just crop it and i'll make a duplicate of it i'll set the in point over here and uh, after that i'll change the stretching if you can't see the stretch option over here just go to columns and enable stretch okay and i'll set the stretch to um, 25 so it will animate fastly just like this i'll make another duplicate and set the in position to over here and this time i'm going to make the stretch to 10 okay so it will be more faster like this and around three seconds we are going to reveal our main scene let's make this one so i'll press ctrl y again to create a background name it as bg add a fill effect over there and change the color to this yellow color okay so it will like this and after that i'm going to bring our main bottle over here just like this and uh, after that here you can see that i have a water splash that i'll give you you can download the project file and you will get all of the assets for free so just use it over here and after that what i'll do i'll select the text layer i'll type in fresh and for this i'm going to use this font franchisee and place this text layer behind uh, your water splash layer and your bottle layer okay now increase the size of it position it properly okay and uh, after that what i'll do i'll press ctrl shift p to set a keyframe on the position and i'll drag this keyframe over here i'll go to around seven seconds and i'll drag this keyframe just like this if you want you can select these two keyframes go to graph editor set is a speed graph hit f9 to easy ease those drag the handle like this okay now let's see looks good if you want you can drag this keyframe a little bit nice okay so looks good to me all right and after that what i'll do i'll add a final touch to it by adding drop shadow on the bottle layer and for the bottle i'm going to give it a hard shadow so i think it will look nice on the background right increase the softness 
little bit and change the opacity to 40 percent just like this now ramp preview it and let's see how it's looking and the interesting part is if you go to the main design comp and you just change the rotation to let's say minus 45 degree and you go to our final comp and here you can see that you are getting a completely different design uh, in the background right so in this way uh, you can use some simple tricks and steps to make some amazing looking promotional video for your clients and i hope you have learned something new today if you like the video please stay tuned for the new videos and subscribe to the channel and with that said this is shubham pramanik signing off and i'll see you in the next video keep animating keep smiling